nice to finish your boy Buckmeister twice as nice as you were used to. Bam. Yo, I'm sorry if I'm a, a little bit blare, but I'm just sore from the gym. Oh my gosh. So anyway, we are here. So, let's wake up, Buck. We are here with Requesting The reason I am singing is because we are here with Beyonce's Lemonade and the truth behind Beyonce's Lemonade. So, link in the description down below. Please go check this out. This was a request from Cedric Abum or Cedric ABM. So, um, yeah, man. Happy to do this request for you. Let's do it. Let's go. What's up? Here we go. Sean. Sean! Ah, Sean! Sean! You guys don't understand, dude. Sean! Sean! Well, maybe you understand, but it's just Sean! Go upstairs. I'm only resting on this pillow because, yo, my back is on fire, but whatever. Scoop the dirt? Scoop the dirt? Dirt? Take the dirt back upstairs? Man, it was so cool to see Sean. You, yo, y'all don't even Please know, check boy. On Maybe you do know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Now, what is it? What? This? It's a check on dirt. So what? Dirty money? It's in a bowl, so check on dirt that's in a bowl? A check on dirt in a bowl. What does that mean? Check on check dirt. Check on dirty bowl. Check on dirty bowl. Check on dirty bowl. Oh my gosh. What? It's... Check under table! Check under the table! I was here the whole time! <laughs> we almost had that one! You guys were close! Yo, you guys were close! You woke us up in the middle of the night just for that? Well, no, not just that. I actually wanted to tell you guys that I Good. think I might just made a breakthrough on Project B. Project V? You mean you're finally gonna tell us what you've been working on? Yes, and that is because yeah. I need your guys' help. Like, really close. Tim, why didn't you just wake us up normally? Was that not normal? Look, like, guys, why are we wasting time? Let's get to the lab. What lab? You don't have a lab. This is a house. Well, oh, don't I? Oh. Stand back. for a pen? What? I need a pen. How am I supposed to show you guys what I've been working on? Huh. It's out of ink though. Eh. Got a Bruh. new one right here anyway. There you go. See, I knew you didn't have some kind of secret lab. Uh, yes I do. I just didn't access it yet. Well, let me guess. Some kind of keyboard comes up again and you put in some kind of secret code. An ice scanner comes down and a robot's like, hello Ryan. And then it transforms the whole room. What? And... No, you just have to clap. Oh. Hello, Ryan. Lemonade? Anyone? Not bad. Actually, can I just come back? I kind of have to use the bathroom. Just pee in a cup. That's what I've been doing. What the heck is wrong with you? Why don't you just go to the bathroom? It's right there. I told you, I've been working non-stop this whole time. I don't got time for pee breaks. Well, actually, I don't have to pee. It's my stomach. It kind of hurts. Oh, then that's all the more reason you should have some lemonade. It's good for your stomach. Really? So as you guys know, our past investigations have gone very successfully as, you know, figuring out the truth behind Miley Cyrus and of course proving the Illuminati is real. But now we've been asked to investigate another mystery. The mystery of Beyonce's Lemonade album. <laughs> How is that even a mystery? It's just her album. But 
this album is completely different. See, nobody knows what this album is about. There's a lot of different theories. Some people believe that this album is about infidelity and how Jay-Z cheated on Beyonce. But at the same time, some other people say, well, if he really did cheat on her, why are they still together? And more importantly, why did she release her songs untitled, the platform that Jay-Z himself owns? And why is it even called Lemonade? There's no explanation for that. Some people believe that- Okay, we get it. There's a bunch of conspiracy theories, but this better not be one of those Illuminati things. <laughs> oh no. In fact, it's the complete opposite. <laughs> See, last time we talked about the Illuminati, we started with apples. Because apples are by far the most popular fruit. They're eaten by children and adults. They're used <laughs> in schools to represent our teachers. All of our technology comes from apples. Even the Bible speaks about Whoa. apples in the story of Adam and Eve. Yet all of a sudden, in less than a month, nobody's talking about this powerful fruit. Because there's another fruit on the rise. The rival to the apple with the complete opposite. Oranges. Like... Apples and oranges. Nope. What about bananas? I eat more bananas than anything. See, that's what I thought at first. Oranges and bananas are way more popular than lemons. So why did Beyonce choose lemons over all the other fruits? Because of the letters. See, orange and banana, six letter words. They don't fit. Apple and lemon, both fives. But there's an even bigger hint that Beyonce left us that proves that there's more to this album than we all thought. What? She named I'm it lemonade, trying to figure not lemon. So how what? It, that's just juice. See, mm. but it isn't. What? You see, every other fruit can be made into a juice, but not lemons. Apples become apple juice. Oranges become orange juice. Pineapples, pineapple juice. Kiwi juice, uh. even tomato juice. But not lemons. Lemons become lemonade. Strange, huh? That is strange. Okay, fine. Let's say you're right and there's something more to it. Now what? We start with the most famous saying about lemonade. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That's not the case here, is it? Because we're being given lemonade, not lemons. So... So Beyonce wants us to work backwards. See, Beyonce has a crazy following. Most of them girls. And they're so in love with her, they want to dedicate their lives to being her followers. In fact, they're so in love with her, they literally say things like, Oh my god, Beyonce is life. And in this scenario, that's absolutely correct. You see, if we work backwards, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. But if Beyonce is life, it should be when Beyonce gives you lemonade, you make lemons. Exactly. Huh? But that doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Not yet. What are the first things that come to mind when you say the word lemon? Sour. I don't know. Yellow? Right, sour and yellow. And if we continue to work backwards, the phrase you make lemons becomes lemons make you. What do lemons make you do when you bite into them? You squint. Because sure. it's sour. Exactly. And when you squint, you look more like an Asian. That's racist. Dude. And you squint, you look more like you're tired because your eyes are smaller. <laughs> An Asian. Yeah, of course. And Asians are stereotypically known to be yellow. Just like lemons. And again, we continue to work backwards. Yellow backwards is Wally. Wally, like the Disney movie about the Earth coming to an end. See, in that movie, we think that Wally is the only remaining individual on Earth, but there's another. And coincidentally, her name is Eve, just like Adam and Eve, who supposedly were the only two individuals on Earth as well. And since Eve is obviously Eve, then Adam must be Wally. And since Wally is actually Wally, yellow backwards, what they're really saying is that Adam is yellow. Yellow Adam. A yellow atom! In chemistry, you learn that CPK coloring is used to distinguish atoms by color. And the color yellow is assigned to sulfur. And sulfur is an atomic number of 16, and it also smells like rotten eggs. However, if you smell rotten eggs and you're not near a volcano, chances are it's just somebody's rotten egg fart. And since eggs are measured in dozens, coincidentally, the same number of songs on Beyonce's album, and if we take the atomic number of 16 and count out all the songs, we come all the way back to the first song with a remainder of four. Track four happens to be the song named Sorry. But who else just recently had the biggest hit in the world named Sorry? Justin Bieber. Who if you didn't know, recently just dyed his hair. Guess what color? That's right, yellow. But recently, only a week after Beyonce releases her Lemonade album, Justin Bieber shaves off his yellow hair and he goes right back to his natural hair color, which is still kind of a off yellow color, which is awfully symbolic and similar to peeling a lemon. Because you peel off the yellow outside and the inside is an off yellow color, which means the peel is nothing more than a cover. Speaking of covers, when you see the album cover of Lemonade, instantly you see the shape of a lemon, but there is a lot more to it. If we work from the bottom up, we see fur. And if I had to guess what animal that looked like, I would have to say it looks like a bear. And above that, you see an ear, which is strange because if she were a part of the Illuminati, That'd be the perfect place to put an eye, but no, this is something new. She put an ear, and on her ear, rings, ear rings. And as we mentioned before, above that, the lemon. What, don't you get it? No. Bears, rings, lemons? Beyonce is bearing fruit. And bearing fruit for a tree means that it's growing fruits. But for a person, bearing fruit means that she's growing something else. And if you peel off the cover, what she's really trying to say, Beyonce is pregnant. <gasps> See, that's what lemonade is really about. This has got to be one of the dumbest ones you've had so far. There's so many holes in this. Well, I didn't say I was done yet. There's more. Yeah, I told you guys I needed your help. I still haven't figured out what these are. Hey, you really think Beyonce's pregnant? I don't see how lemonade could be about anything else. Oh well, if she really is, I don't think she should be drinking lemonade. Look how many carbs there are. 53 grams for one bottle? That's crazy. 53 grams? 53 grams? 53 grams? <laughs> oh my god. It's numbers. 
What? 53 grams. You said you said there's 53 in there. Yeah, 53 grams. 53 grams. 53 Grammys. Huh? Beyonce has the record for the most Grammy nominations. 53 of them. No way. There you go again, connecting two completely unrelated things. It's 53 grams of carbohydrates, not Grammys. Exactly, that's what's leading us to the next part. If we break it up, it's just car bowl hydrate. When you hear car bowl, a bowl the size of a car, that's a really big bowl. And hydrate has to do with liquids. But if we're talking about a bowl, what kind of liquids do you put in a bowl? Lemonade. What? No, it's <laughs> soup. Oh. Now you have a really big bowl of soup. No, a huge bowl of soup. <gasps> a super bowl. The Super Bowl. Beyonce was the halftime show performer for two of them, Super Bowl 47 and 50. Wait, but she wasn't even really a main performer in Super Bowl 50. She was just in it. There's kind of a big difference. Oh, there's a difference, all right, but it ain't that big. What? The difference between Super Bowl 50 and 47 is three. And three is her magic number, one might say. How so? Beyonce's 34, Jay-Z's 46. When we add their ages together, we have 80. Okay. If we take our magic number three and subtract God of 80, we're left with 77. And 77, as we all know, is the product of seven times 11. 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, the hit song that Beyonce released three years ago. But if she planned this three years ago, why now? Because on the anniversary of 7-Eleven's release this year, Beyonce would be 35, and 77 minus 35 is 42. The exact age Jay-Z was when his Yo. daughter Blue Ivy was born. 42. What? What does their daughter even have anything to do with this? 7-Eleven was made for their daughter. Come on, if you really listen to the lyrics, wave your hands side to side, clap, 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 clap it. My hands up, my hands up, I stand up with my hands up. It does sound like a children's song. Exactly, because 7-Eleven was disguised to be for us, but really it was just for their daughter. That's why the lyrics are so bad. Don't be saying that. Since this song is made for their daughter, don't tell me it's a coincidence that their daughter is four years old. Yet in seven years, she's going to be what? 11. Isn't 11 the exact number of songs that's on her album? Uh, no. You said it yourself. There's 12 songs. Precisely. See, there's 12 songs, but we got 11. We were almost there. We were this close. We were an inch away. Six inches, to be exact. The only number in any of her titles, and it's six. The number six on her sixth album. Six is our special number, one might say. But I thought you said three was our special number. But no, three is our magic number, because it's half of six. You see, if we take it from where we left off at I 11, we multiply it by our special this. number of six, oh my we gosh. end up with our final number. Uh -huh. 66. 53, 3, 42, 11, 66. But, but what do they mean? I don't know, but it has to mean something. If not, Beyonce wouldn't have made it that obvious. <laughs> obvious? Nothing about any of this is obvious. What are you talking about? It was so clear. You're literally forcing these connections. They make no sense at all. They make sense! And what's even worse is you ended up with nothing. Nothing? What that? We have the last piece. Those are the last five numbers. Yeah, five numbers that mean nothing. <laughs> Oh my god, seriously? That's, that's a bad one, dude. Sorry. I oh. told you I wasn't feeling well. Dude, what the heck did you eat? It smells like rotten egg. No. That's it. Huh? Rotten eggs. Sulfur. Uh, They're elements. Uh, All of them. 53, 3, 42, 11, 66. The atomic numbers. So three is lithium. Iodine. Lithium. Molybdenum. Molybdenum. Sodium. Dysprosium. It's a formula. It all makes sense now. What does? Everything. Why Beyonce made an entire album bashing her husband, a man. Why the majority of Beyonce's songs are all about and for women. Even why there's an ear on the album cover instead of an eye. Beyonce is giving birth. It's an <laughs> idea. No, a group. No, an army of women to take over the world. What? And it's all starting with that formula. Sean, check that lemonade bottle. Iodine, lithium, M Minneapolis, it's, it's all here. Let me see that. See, it's already begun. But we've been drinking this lemonade. Exactly. Look at us, we're fine. Yeah, for now, who knows what's gonna happen later. Look, this is so stupid. How do you even come up with these ridiculous conspiracy theories? Do I really have to spell this out for you? Look at the abbreviations. See, this is not about the Illuminati. The Illuminati's ran by men. See, Beyonce is starting something new. She's giving birth to a new group of powerful women to not just take over the world, but the previous Illuminati as well. Think about it. Think about everything you've ever heard from Beyonce. She wants who to run the world? Girls. She wants all the what? Single ladies. Every single lady to rise up in formation to build a flawless, irreplaceable army of grown women to create the new Illuminati. The Lady Illuminati. The <laughs> Illuminatis. Either that or she's just pregnant. <laughs> Look. Ten minutes later, we're all drinking lemonade and we're still fine. But are we though? <gasps> well, wait, how come I didn't change? Oh, that's right, it wasn't a cup. I peed in a bottle. <laughs> they illuminated 
man, I love videos like this. Oh my gosh. Th thank you, thank you, Cedric. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that as a as a Niga Higa fan, like super fan, I haven't seen that video. But anyway, uh, yeah, please leave requests down below. I try to get to all the requests if I can. It, and um yeah so let me know what you guys want me to react to if you have any suggestions i love your suggestions and if you guys like this video please like share subscribe and if you did not that is your business and i'll see you on another video because my stomach's gotta be out peace <laughs>